Let's talk rocks, people. Not these rocks. These rocks! So we are standing in front of this super exotic granite with the owner of Prestal, Ernest. What variety of uh, materials do you carry here at Prestal? So we have uh, natural stones, uh, which are in two categories, basically uh, granites and marbles. And we have engineered stone, which is basically all of your, your, your quartz products. Uh, we carry a specific uh, quartz developed by Samsung, which is called uh, Radiance. Uh, and we also have some sort of porcelain products as well. So the biggest question that I get is, what's the best thing for my countertops? So basically both products, uh, granite and uh, quartz, natural stone and quartz perform really, really well as countertop material. Uh, there's certain advantages to one versus the other. So for example, uh, quartz is a little bit less heat resistant than, than, than granite. We have a little, couple, a little more advantages with the quartz when it comes to staining. Quartz is a non-porous product, so it can't really stain. Stains won't penetrate into the stone. At the end of the day, they're very, 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 very similar. Now, if we're looking for a, a color like this, uh, unfortunately, we, you won't find anything that looks exactly like this in the quartz. And on the flip side, if you're looking for a, a look that's like very, very pure, very minimalistic, uh, solid colors, grays, whites, you won't find anything in the natural stone that will, that will give you that look. So we'll go with the color that we really want. And as, as long as the client knows and understands what the advantages and the disadvantages are of each product, then, then, then you're okay. Now the advantages of coming here where you can actually see the slab, you get to pick your own slab. You have to come with a designer, um, of course, but you get to come here and pick your own slab, your own design. But here's the big question. I know you guys are all asking, what's the difference in costs? Well, what is the difference in cost? Yeah. Quartz is an engineered product, so it's man-made. So, you know, it's a manufactured product. Therefore, uh, some of the colors are more expensive than others, but there is a cap as to how expensive the quartz gets. When it comes to natural products, the only thing that dictates the cost is supply and demand. So if the, if the stone is oh. very, very rare, then it's gonna be extremely expensive. And there is really no limit to how, how high the price goes. So where do you start when you are just beginning to look for, let's say, your countertop? That's where your designer comes in or the client's designer comes in. And uh, by coming here, we're able to guide you uh, and show you both the, the, the less expensive products and the higher end products and kind of navigate uh, depending on, on your budget and on your project. Now, the other stone that we all love, marble. Now, what's the difference with marble? Where can you use it in a house? So marble, as opposed to gra granite, is a volcanic stone and marble is uh, sedimentary, so it's made out of calcium. Anything that's got acid in it will etch the marble and that's why it's not really recommended to use in kitchens. Uh, you could use it and people in Europe do use it a lot, but you just have to realize that it's not going to look perfectly beautiful, shiny, gorgeous all the time and you will etch it and you will stain it and it'll have that that used patina look on it so in other words not really recommended for those who cook like me which is <laughs> can we get something that kind of gives the same effect nothing looks exactly like the marble that natural look is very difficult to reproduce okay. now the quartz companies uh, as they've been uh, improving the manufacturing process have been getting a lot better than than what they were used to previously so so the colors are getting a lot nicer in quartz and they're starting to look uh, more like the marble, yeah, more realistic. And what's the price point? Is it more expensive than quartz, granite? What's the price point on marble? Depending on the rarity of the stone, because marble is, is a natural product, just like, just like the granite, uh, depending on the rarity of the stone, it'll be more or less expensive. It's comparable to granite, and once again, we'll be able to help you out and help you navigate the cost of the project. And now we've got the last one, the last piece of the puzzle, the porcelain. What do we do with porcelain, Ernest? So what we could do with it, we could do a lot of things with it. We could technically do countertops, but as, as we can see, the material is very thin. The new style, we could leave it thin as is uh, to reduce costs. Or uh, what the fabricator could do is they could, cut, they could cut the piece at a 45 degree angle and kind of laminate it. In which case you could, you could make the edge as long as you want. So it could be a full waterfall, it could be a two inch laminate, whatever. So what's the difference between the cost of this, let's say, and the same amount of space using tile? 
So that's a very good question. So, so tile, tile is a lot easier to manipulate and there's a lot of people that can lay tile. So tile would be less expensive. With the porcelain, you still kind of need specialized equipment to cut it because it's a large format tile Then you need expertise to install it and all that. So, so the cost is more expensive. The advantages is that it's seamless. There's no grout. So there's no bacteria, nothing like that. It's seamless and it's extremely strong and durable. Now the only thing with this is the edge. When you put tile on the floor or on the wall, you always protect the edge with grout. In this case, if there's no grout, you need to be careful because the edge could crack if there's impact or anything like that. The surface is very, very durable, but the edges uh, are prone to cracking. What you're saying is that we need to make sure that we've got the right installers, obviously, that know what they're doing, yeah. which, yeah. I mean, we know them, right? So basically what this gives as a look, um, instead of in your shower bathroom having the tile, we have a nice clean slate. It's a very modern look. So let me walk you through and let's choose what's best for you. We've got quartz, they've got granite, they've got marble, and they've got porcelain. And we will pick the perfect stone for you. Is that right, Ernest? That's right, thank you very much and hope to see you soon. And I hope that you've learned a lot today. If you have more questions, don't hesitate to ask. And this is Lauren K Design, check it out.